Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two right triangles, uh, ABC and this other right triangle, uh, BDC, are put together, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, side length uh, BD is uh, 3 times uh, square root of 3 units, and this uh, angle uh, CBD is uh, 30 degrees. And moreover, this purple uh, right triangle uh, is fully confined uh, in a big uh, right triangle ABC and furthermore uh, this side length uh, BC is equal to this uh, segment uh, MB and this uh, another segment uh, AM. In other words M is the midpoint and now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, purple shaded triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I am going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BDC. We can see that this angle is uh, 30 degrees. This angle is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be 60 degrees and now we can see that this is a special uh, 30 60 90 degree triangle and here i have copied down this uh, 30 60 90 triangle uh, bdc and now let's make an observation we can see that 30 degrees uh, is our smallest uh, angle so the side opposite to that angle is going to be our smallest uh, leg and likewise uh, this is our 90 degree largest angle so the side opposite to this angle is going to be our longest uh, leg so in such kind of triangle uh, the longest leg is twice the smallest uh, leg if the smallest leg is one unit then the longest leg is going to be two so therefore in our case uh, this is uh, our smallest leg let me go ahead and represent this smallest leg by x uh, units then the longest leg is going to be 2 times uh, x and our third leg is 3 times the uh, square root of 3. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for x and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and label this longest leg as our side uh, c. I'm going to label this one uh, side a and this one uh, lowercase uh, b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. A in our case is x, so it's going to become uh, x square. B in our case is 3 times the uh, square root of 3 whole uh, square. Equal to c in our case is uh, 2x uh, whole square. Let's go ahead and simplify. So x square plus uh, this is simply is going to give us uh, 27 equal to 4 x square. Let's go ahead and subtract x square from both sides. This is uh, gone and there on the right hand side 4x square minus x square is going to give us uh, 3x square equal to 27. Let's divide both sides by 3 so therefore uh, x square turns out to be 9. Let me go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides and here we can see x turns out to be positive uh, 3 units. So thus I'm going to replace this uh, x uh, by 3 and here x by 3 as well. So therefore uh, this uh, side length uh, BC turns out to be 6 units because 3 times 2 is going to give us 6. And now let me show you the second uh, method uh, to find the, this uh, side length uh, BC. And now let's recall the so called one. We are interested in uh, cosine of theta equal to adjacent uh, divided by hypotenuse. And in our case, our angle theta is uh, 30 degrees. This side uh, BD is our adjacent side, and this uh, BC is our hypotenuse. So, therefore, our cosine of uh, 30 degrees is going to be adjacent side is. Uh, 3 times the square root of uh, 3 and our hypotenuse is uh, BC and we know that cosine of 30 degrees is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 so I'm going to replace uh, this uh, by 
square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore we're going to have a square root of 3 divided by 2 equal to 3 times the square root of 3 divided by b c. And now let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply. So therefore we're going to have a square root of 3 times uh, b c equal to 3 times 2 become uh, 6 uh, times the uh, square root of uh, 3. Let's divide both sides by square root of 3. This is uh, gone. This is gone uh, as well. So therefore our uh, b c length uh, turns out to be 6 uh, units as you can see over here. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, b c length uh, is equal to m b length uh, and this uh, a m length uh, as well. Since this is 6 units, so this has got to be 6 uh, and this is 6 as well. And now let's make an observation uh, since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, purple shaded triangle and we can see that this uh, purple uh, triangle area is going to be equal to this triangle uh, AMC area minus uh, this triangle uh, AMN area as you can see in this uh, equation. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, AMC and uh, triangle area AMN as well. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, AMC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equal to half times uh, base uh, times height. And in our case uh, this uh, AM is our base of this uh, triangle and this uh, BC is the height uh, of this uh, triangle as well. So therefore the area of this uh, triangle AMC is going to be a half times uh, base is uh, 6 uh, and height is 6 uh, as well. If we simplify this thing uh, that is going to give us uh, 18 square units. So the area of this uh, triangle AMC turns out to be 18. And now let's make an observation. We can see in this uh, right triangle MBC this uh, side length uh, equal to this uh, side length. That means they are isosceles uh, triangle. So therefore this angle is going to be 45 degrees and this is going to be 45 degrees as well. And now we know that this uh, is a 90 degree angle. So therefore this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well. And here in this uh, next step I have dropped this uh, perpendicular uh, NP as you can see over here. And in this uh, triangle MPN if this angle is 45 degrees uh, this is our 90 degree angle. So therefore uh, this angle has got to be 45 uh, degrees as well. So therefore we conclude that this uh, side length uh, MP is going to be equal to this uh, side length uh, NP. That means this side length uh, is going to be equal to this uh, side length. And now we can see that this uh, small right triangle uh, APN uh, is uh, similar to this uh, big uh, right triangle uh, ABC according to angle angle similarity theorem. Since this angle is in common this is our 90 degree angle and this is 90 degree angle as well. So therefore we are going to have a proportion of uh, AP divided by NP is going to be equal to AB divided by BC. And now we know that this whole AB length is 6 plus 6 is going to give us 12 and this BC length is 6. So therefore we got AP divided by NP is going to be 12 divided by 6 and now 12 and 6 could be reduced to 2 divided by 1 as you can see in this uh, next step. So therefore we are uh, going to have uh, a p equals to 2 times uh, some constant k and n uh, p is going to be 1 times some constant uh, k. So therefore this uh, a p length uh, is uh, 2 times uh, k and this uh, n p length is uh, 1 times uh, k. And since uh, this side length uh, n p equals to this side length mp. So therefore uh, this side length is going to be 1k as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, length uh, am uh, is going to be equal to 2k 
plus 1k is going to give us uh, 3k and we know that this uh, whole length uh, am is uh, 6 uh, units as well so I'm going to equate this one to equal to 6 let's divide both sides by 3 to isolate uh, k and we can see that k turns out to be 2 so k value turns out to be 2 and now we can see that this uh, np length is going to be 1 times k where k is uh, 2 so 2 times 1 is going to give us uh, 2 as you can see over here and now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, amn and now let's recall the area of a triangle uh, formula once again area equals to half times base uh, times height in our case uh, our base of this uh, triangle is uh, 6 and the height uh, of this triangle is uh, 2 units so therefore the area of this uh, triangle am and is going to be a half uh, times our uh, base is uh, 6 and height uh, is uh, 2 and if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 6 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, purple shaded triangle and we know that the area of this uh, triangle amc is 18 and the area of this uh, triangle amn is uh, 6 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation so we got 18 minus 6 that turns out to be 12 square units so thus the area of this uh, purple shaded triangle turns out to be 12 uh, square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.